I'm going to show you today how to install fonts on your Mac. Super easy. Um, let's go ahead and get started. If this video is of interest to you or helpful, make sure you like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. Um, I come out with new videos probably once or twice a week. Just lots of neat ways to design for yourself. Um, you know, whether you're a Cricut user, a Silhouette user, scan and cut, um, sublimation, whatever you do. Um, coming out with lots of neat ways to design for yourself as well as just get better at crafting. Uh, so subscribe, you'll get a notification. Super easy. Um, I get almost all of my fonts from Font Bundles. I'll link that in the video description. When you're looking at the video, there's an arrow underneath. Click on that. It'll expand. Um, and I'll link that in there. And I'll also link our uh, one of our many Facebook groups. We have a whole collaborative of crafting groups on Facebook, almost 2 million members. Um, I'll link Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. It's about 200,000 members. Fantastic group, super friendly. You'll fit right in. So join us there. Um, so I'll link that in the description. I'll link the font that I'm going to use um, from Font Bundles. So I like Font Bundles because Everything includes a commercial use font or a, excuse me, a commercial use license. So, you know, in this industry, so many of us move into, um, you know, selling what we make. It's incredibly important to have that commercial use license. So that's everything that I get always has one. That's why I prefer to get my fonts here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install a font called Sweet Boho. This is a font that I just recently got and absolutely love. How pretty is that? So when you have the choice of OTF or TTF, you might also see it as open type or true type. You're going to want to choose the OTF or open type font. If you don't have a choice and you only have the TTF, that'll work fine as well. But when you do have the choice, choose the OTF. So you can see when I click on that, it goes into my downloads. So now we can close this. And now what you want to do is you want to go to font book. Okay. So to pull up font book, command space bar, and then type in font book. And, um, so right here, you see right here where there's a plus. If you do not have that over here on the left-hand side, um, you may have to go to computer, but then you click on this plus. And now any font that you have downloaded will be right here. So I am going to choose Sweet Boho. Open. That's it. That's all there is to it. So, oops. So that's it. So that's all there is to it. Um, now, once you have installed a font, every program that you have on this particular system that utilizes system fonts will be able to use that font. So when you go to type something in, you're going to see that font now in the font drop down. Um, if you have the program open while you're installing, so you have it open and then you go install, you're going to want to close and reopen the program and then it'll be in your font drop down. So easy peasy, nothing to it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to link that particular font. Everybody should own it. It's a fantastic font. I'll link that in the description. Um, and then I will also link um, the Facebook group. Make sure you join us there. You will love it. It's a fantastic group. So that's it. If you have any questions at all, ask them uh, here on YouTube. Or better yet, you, you know, you're welcome to approach me right in the group and ask me directly if you need help. Have a good day. Bye.